Hi, I'm Dr. Lexi Lane, and today we're going to be talking about vitamin B6. It's also known as pyridoxine, and its activated form is called pyridoxine 5-phosphate, or P5P. If you're feeling fatigued, which is everybody, <laughs> if you're feeling moody, depressed, anxious, maybe you have some insomnia, vitamin B6 might be for you. And the reason why is because it is important for the production of serotonin and dopamine. When you're taking vitamin B6 as a supplement, you're probably going to want to take that in a B-complex form because B6 has a synergistic effect with B12 and folic acid. So it's really important to just take them as a, as a whole supplement as opposed to an individual ingredient. Another thing to think about is dosage. A dosage can be anything between 10 milligrams to upwards of 100 milligrams and there are times where maybe something like 200 milligrams or more is is actually indicated but I do not recommend you do that without a physician and then also those dosages are short term. A toxicity of this if you ever feel like you're taking too much B6 is if you start to get numbness and tingling in your hands that's letting your body know that's way too much B6 and you need to back off. If you're someone who wants to actually take vitamin B6 with your food, meaning that you want food as medicine, you're gonna find vitamin B6 in your starchy vegetables, uh, whole grains, so it doesn't necessarily have to be wheat, it's pretty much any whole grain you can think of. Um, starchy vegetables are basically things like potatoes and corn, peas, uh, butternut squash, acorn squash, um, I mean there's this whole slew, parsnips is in that too. But what you're gonna find is that some of these fad diets are taking out starchy vegetables and grains. So just watch out for that. Whenever you are doing something like a ketogenic diet, you might wanna be supplementing with a B-complex, particularly B6. Some interesting facts about B6. It's really, really great for pregnant women who have morning sickness in her first trimester. There's actually a study where 70 to 80% of the women were actually seeing signs of improvement, significant improvement with supplementation of B6. We also will find a lot of research in autism, ADD, ADHD, any sort of brain dysfunction um, where B6 is gonna be highly indicated. So we're all connected, but I hope you found this video helpful for you and uh, have a great day.